I think the greatest reward of being a charter school system is just the flexibility you have of putting uh, your dollars closest to the kids. Uh, a lot of times, you know, there's a lot of, you can have red tape in, in bureaucracy and uh, bigger organizations. And I, find, I have found that uh, being a charter system, it allows us to um, kind of, you know, bypass that, that red tape and be able to put those dollars, you know, closest to the kids. So we take those funds, we put them uh, in the schools, uh, directly to the schools where they know their kids the best and they'll use those funds to the best of their ability to serve the kids in the, in, in the way that they need it the most. Our local school governance teams uh, really are the backbone of our, our system, they're the backbone of our schools, and they have great relationships uh, with our principals. Uh, you know, they meet monthly uh, as a team, you know, made up of community members, of, of teachers, of business reps, uh, along with school administrators, uh, and they just, they talk about what's going on in our schools. Uh, they, you know, share with them, they being the principals, will share with them information uh, that's coming up. They'll share with them ideas that they're thinking about, gather their feedback, and, and helping them in that decision-making process. And there are several examples I can think of, even one when I was a high school principal, of we were talking about dress code and what we wanted to, you know, do and things to look at. And I remember talking, you know, through that process with our, our local school governance team, getting their opinions, getting their thoughts, do we need to make changes or not, and, and just a, the collective wisdom of the group uh, really helps guide us uh, as we make decisions that, that best serve our students. So they serve terms, um, you know, and so you have two teachers, uh, you have business reps, and you have, you know, parents. Uh, the parents, they, they uh, can be, they go through an election process, if you will, after their, their term is up. Uh, then they have, you know, they submit names, you know, nominations, and, and then depending on how many seats are available and how many people have been nominated, then they'll have an election. Uh, businesses or representatives are asked, uh, you know, from the principal, uh, you know, serve, you know, specific terms, and teachers as well can go through uh, an election process.